Matt Luke was the former Ole Miss head coach and is now, well, not now, <laughs> he was the offensive line coach for the Georgia Bulldogs for the last two seasons. And they won their national championship. And now Matt Luke, as of February 22nd, has decided that he is going to resign as the offensive line coach at the University of Georgia. Now, it's a little weird on the timing, right? There's just not exactly when you would hope to have a coaching change. We've talked about this with Auburn, et cetera, and I'll get to them in a minute. But this is not ideal. Rusty Manziel from Dogs 247 Sports was on top of this uh, way, way before the announcement was actually made. But basically, he is leaving for family reasons. He wants to spend more time at home. He wants to spend more time with his family, etc. And I am beginning to understand this, and I think we're going to see a lot more of this, especially for coaches that have been in this grind for a long, long time. I don't know that Georgia would have made a change. The offensive line played pretty well for the last two seasons. The guard play maybe could have been a little bit better, but this is a team that only allowed, uh, what, 16 sacks in 15 games or whatever the number is. I mean, they did not allow a lot of sacks. They were consistently ahead of the curve. They were able to get a ton of push from that offensive line. So, Matt Luke did a pretty good job. I don't think they were going to make a change. I think, at this point, Matt Luke realized the game of college football is completely changing. With NIL, with wide-open transferring, I, it's a lot to keep up with. Right, And we're just now about to head into spring ball, and he's going to be even more busy. And I think once you have been doing this for a very long time, uh, one, the option is to, especially once you've made a huge sum of money, which he has when he was the head coach at Ole Miss after Hugh Freeze uh, was let go, he, he's made plenty of money. He doesn't need to keep doing this for less than a million dollars a year or whatever I think that he may really just want to go spend more time with his family. He's got kids in middle school. He wants to be able to go to the games, etc. cetera. Uh, reports are that he is going to stay in the Athens area. I I think that's great. You know, I, you, we're going to see this more often. We're going to see a lot of guys that have been doing this for a long time just decide, you know what, I am tired and I don't like, uh, while, while a lot of them do like the kids and they like mentoring young men, into becoming men or becoming NFL prospects, etc. I think a lot of these guys really just want a break. And there is no break when it comes to college football anymore. There is no offseason. In the NFL, you got plenty of time to be able to go and take your vacations, etc. You take a vaca- uh, vacation in college football now, and say you're just gone for a week. You could have a guy decide, eh, I'm not getting enough attention. I think I'm going to enter the transfer portal. So not only... Do you have to go and recruit new players? But you are constantly having to recruit your own roster over and over and over again. Now, Matt Luke is not the head coach, but he is an offensive line coach. And having to maintain those relationships all the time can be tiring. I don't blame him at all. I don't blame him at all for doing this. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.